Hey guys, this is Bharadwaj with Phonearena.com and you're watching the comparison between the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 running on the Snapdragon 800 here on the left and the same Galaxy Note 3 running on the Exynos 5420. Samsung has opted to launch the Exynos version for the 3G markets while the Snapdragon 800 version is available for only the LTE markets, which the Indian market is not yet. The major differences between the two chips are that one is quad-core while the other is octo-core, but technically since only 4 of those 8 cores can work at a time, let's say it is a quad-core processor too. The other difference is the GPU. The Exynos version has a 6-core Mali T628 chip, while the Snapdragon 800 version has the quad-core Adreno 330 graphics. You may have seen us do the benchmarks between the two demonstrating the raw power differences, but what about the actual real-time usage? Well, we are going to show you exactly that with a real-time gaming demo highlighting the differences between the two. We've got a stopwatch to show you how, after the same amount of stress, the battery life is going to be like. And we've also got a temperature reader that will show you the differences between the two, experiencing the same workload. We've got a few games lined up for you, so let's start. To reiterate, we have the Snapdragon 800 version on the left and the Exynos version on the right. The white one is Snapdragon, black one is Exynos. Okay, let's move on. First up, we have the Riptide GP2 game. You can notice the loading times itself are slightly different between the two. The display differences you see between the two is only due to viewing angle, so don't bother. But if you look at the gameplay, both are near identical, but the Exynos version does seem smoother in this game. Let's watch the gameplay for a while. Let's take a look at the temperatures now that the gameplay is over. Unsurprisingly, the Exynos version is hotter at 44 degrees, while the Snapdragon version is at 40. Both are manageable in real, but the results are out there for you to see. And if you take a look at the battery usage, both the phones were charged to 100 before starting the test. The Exynos version is now at 94%, while the Snapdragon version is a slightly lower 92%. So does the Exynos have better battery power savings? Let's move on to the next game and find out in the end. Now for a much more challenging Modern Combat 4, which is a graphically intense game and made by Gameloft using the Havoc engine. So let's see how this plays out. Again the loading time seems to be different for both, with the Snapdragon 800 version somehow being snappier although to a very small lead. But if you look at the graphics quality that's ongoing right now, the Exynos version seems to be optimized for much better graphics. Note how the water is so different and awesome on the Exynos version. Having seen the Snapdragon 600 exhibit similar graphics as the Exynos version right now, we think it's the optimization at play here, rather than actual capabilities. But thanks to the lesser graphics on the 800, it has faster frame rates, while it is a bit laggy on the Exynos version albeit with much better graphics. So let's watch a bit of a gameplay here, noting the differences between the two. Now, time for the temperatures. The Exynos 1 is at 45.5 degrees, while the Snapdragon version is at 44.6 degrees. Not much of a difference now. The battery levels are at 90% for the Exynos version, while the Snapdragon version is at 86%. We think this might be due to the higher base clock speeds of the 2.3GHz Snapdragon 800 chipset versus the 1.9GHz Exynos version. Anyway, moving on, the next game we have is Asphalt 8. Again we see small differences in the opening times with the Exynos version slightly faster. But as we said with optimization before, the problem with the Exynos version here is it, it is stuck at low settings, unlike the Snapdragon version that can go till high. The difference in graphics here will be so drastic, so for comparison sakes, we have set both to low. Now the game has rebooted with the new low settings on the 800, yet you can see that there are subtle graphics differences which is quite weird. You can see that the headlights are shining on the Snapdragon version. Loading times are different too. 
as you can see from the performance here the low graphics are pretty much a non-existent stress on both the chips and they handle it flawlessly both perform well without any lag but with the 800 you can expect similar performance at high settings too which will happen with the optimization for the Exynos version 2 if done now after a complete full race let's check the temperatures The Exynos version is at 45 degrees and the Snapdragon version is at just 39.2. This is the first time we are seeing a huge gap here. Now let's check out the battery life. The Exynos is now at 84 while the Snapdragon is at a much lower 79. That's a huge gap again. So there you go folks, that's an objective look at both these variants. You have seen three games, three different performances and three different uh, ways that both the chips handle the phone. Both are top notch chips offering great performance but the only things to note here are more temperature on the Exynos version and worse battery life on the Snapdragon 800 version both owing to their architectural differences and base clock frequencies. Anyway that's it for our video. Do let us know what you think in the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed this. If you did do hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel for a lot more videos like these. Thanks for watching.